I am Ravi Dussal, and in this video, I will be showing my CONE project. The CONE award is the top section award that a cub can earn. And once you get it, you could wear this beautiful wolf on your scout uniform. So Robbie, one of the uh, things that we have to do for your CONE is to review your your three years in Cubs. Yeah. And so one of the biggest things that uh, that you worked on was the PAB badges, your personal uh, achievement badges. Uh huh. That's uh, pictured on the left. Mm -hmm. How many did you get? All of them. Yeah. So 16. there's 16 of them. Yeah. And uh, that's really impressive. That's one of the biggest things that people always notice when you're wearing the uniform is all those badges on the left, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah. And um, what's really nice about those adventures, I mean, there's four each, so you multiply four times 16, that's a lot of adventures. Yeah. And one of the things that you do that's unique um, that I really enjoy doing is uh, we do the videos together. So yeah. there's a link for each one of these badges yep. on YouTube. And uh, we've been doing it, uh, we did it all for for beavers and uh, we continued with cubs as well yep so robbie we went camping we did uh all kinds of adventures with the rest of the cubs yep. but one of the biggest things that we both enjoyed doing were the uh, scouting challenges that uh, uh yeah. you get badges for uh -huh. do you remember the first one the grade eight yeah i remember yeah what do you remember about it i remember we uh i we were filtering water with my necker that's right yeah so we also uh we made a remedy for getting oh, mosquito yeah, for, bites. Uh, yeah, for mosquito bites. And we also cooked yeah. some food. And uh, one of the things is that I remember when this was the first one, and I, I heard about it really late as a leader. Uh -huh. So we were trying to catch up and do two adventures a week, right? The grade eight was a great adventure. So click on the link above to see a little bit of it. So the next one was called what, Robbie? Around the world in 60 days. Yeah, so there was eight adventures, and they were in order. And it started with the koala bear on the right there at the top. And it went all the way around clockwise. Every week it had an adventure. And one of the things that you and I took on is we'd go in with a story about the countries that was hosting the 60 days. Yep, right? I remember. So we either brought in flags or... Uh, we would talk about the history and um and the w your biggest one was probably the one for the reconciliation yeah you did a really nice uh, canadian project for that so my i think i love the contraption action yeah the best one yeah what do we Num do for that number one what do we do for uh, that we grabbed a bunch of tracks and yeah. we had to make like a marble uh, a marble run yep. and it goes into Akela's mouth. Yeah, that was fun. That was awesome. And then we built tents in the dark yes. and we made that uh, the ka the kaboom thing Yeah. for Egypt. What was that called? Oh, the uh, Shadoof. The Shadoof. Shadoof. That's right. We did make that. And then we even froze things in an ice oh, pack for the, yeah. uh, the, the Argentinian one. Yeah. Now this one was so uh, involved for us and it was the best one out of all of these series. It was so big that we did a video for each one. Yeah. And so there's an entire playlist for this. So if you want to see uh, one of these, uh, click on the link above uh, for the, either a playlist or a video. And uh, be sure and watch the rest one of them, right, Robbie? We, we put a lot of work into these, right? Oh, my gosh, yeah. So, Robbie, what was the next uh, adventure that we did? Claim the flame. Right. So there was that nice badge there at the top right. It was 2022. Yep. Mm -hmm. And uh, what did everybody have their picture taken with? The Olympic torch. Yes, we had actually had the Olympic torch. Everybody uh, got a nice picture with it. And the whole idea was claim the flame of uh, the, the Olympic flame, of course. And mm -hmm. we were cheering on the Canadian Olympics. Yep. What activities did we do? So uh, we did some curling, snowshoeing, uh, pulling the sled races. Yeah. And uh, fort building. Fort building, yeah. Yeah, and of course we had hot chocolate for every event. Yes. And this went over for a couple of weeks. Mm -hmm. And um, I think that well, your favorite was the curling. Yeah, probably. Yeah. And we did one video all together for this. So click on the link above to see what uh, how Claim the Flame went for us. 
Then the last one was uh, was what, Robbie? The Dragon Trail Quest. Yeah, it's one of the most beautiful badges. Yeah, definitely. Um, Claim the Flame and Dragon Trail Quest had single uh, badges. Uh -huh. And one of the reasons was because the other ones were really expensive. The Grade 8 came in different pieces. Oh, my God. And then yeah. around the world in 60 days was a whole bunch of different pieces. And they're, they're huge badges. Yeah. And so I guess, you know, Scouts Canada reacts to, uh, you know, people buying them or not mm -hmm. uh and and some people were saying they're too expensive but you know i, I love the memories and I, I love the big badges so yeah. how did the dragon trail quest for, go for us uh so i was there was like five meetings yeah for uh, throughout yeah uh, one sorry, of them was like a two. one of them was a hike <laughs> Yeah, hike. I did that, and then we uh, had to uncode a message. Oh, that's right. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. And yeah. yeah so it was like five meetings worth of this. Yeah. I I wasn't there for three. Yeah. But I, I still did it. I really like the way that Scouts Canada uh, put these things together. Also, the connections to the other badges. Yeah. Uh, it keeps us busy, and I must say, the PABs are such a big effort to do. Oh. Oh, and yeah. it's going to get worse. In Scouts, he's got to do five adventures, which is really a lot. Five? For Because it's four for cubs and three for beavers, mm. right? All right. Okay. So, yeah, it's been a lot. So it was quite a quite an incredible three years, Robbie, to be part of this, wasn't it? Yeah. All right. For the Seal Neo Award, 10 outdoor adventure skills stages need to be completed in any combination of skills. How many uh, uh, do you have in total? 17. So you have 17, you only needed 10. That's great. Yep. And uh, out of all of those, which one was your favorite? Easily sailing. Oh my gosh, that was fun. Yeah, I have a big though. shout out to uh, Captain uh, Will, who took us out. He happened to have uh, a, a sailboat. And uh, I, it's one of the greatest times I had as well. And uh, if you want to see how that went for us, just click on the link above. Yeah, the most rigorous one that I had to do is um, the four for uh, Winter Skills 4. Yeah. I had to pull that sled for three kilometers as cold as day, remember? Yeah, I remember we uh, we loaded up the, the sleigh with all the gear that you would need for camping. Yep. And uh, you went around the park uh, many times. Yeah. And it was the coldest day of the year. And I, I started calling you Sir Ranolf Fines, the oh, yeah. uh, British explorer that... Uh, I uh, got uh, the nasty frostbite and climbed the Mount Everest and everything. I remember that. Yeah, so that was a that that was a really tough batch to do. You get, I mean, you get to level fours and and then things start to really get uh, difficult. So uh, yeah. for your next few years in Scouts, we're going to start increasing those uh, those levels uh, a little higher. We're going to go to level fours on some of those, eh, Robbie? Yeah, right. that's doable. Yeah, totally. If you want to see level four winter badge, click on the link above. For the CONE Award, 15 community service hours need to be completed in scouting or non-scouting activities. So, Robbie, what uh, some of the hours that you did? I've done multiple park cleanups. Well, three for every year in Cubs. Yeah. And then, like, another one for fundraiser. Yeah. And then we were giving uh, apples for donations at... Uh, Canadian Tire. Yeah, you were raising money. And then I did a fundraiser for the Ukraine. Yeah. Then I made thank you gifts for different organizations with the ventures. And finally, for my CONE project, I played violin for the Palliative Care Center in Kirkland. This year, I decided to do two major projects the CONE and the Messengers of Peace. Yeah, so Robbie, the um, the Messengers of Peace was quite a big uh, uh, project, mm -hmm. and it was an international project. Yeah. And so we didn't want to dedicate uh, too much time to, uh, to to just the CONE award. So you you were really overworked and trying to finish all your other badges yeah. and your sustainability stuff. So we did what we could with our time. Yeah. All right, Robbie. What are we about to go do? I'm about to go play violin. Yes. I'm where? At the, at the palliative care in Kirkland. Nice. So I was wondering if I could go to my for volunteer hours. For volunteer hours, okay, yeah. Mm-hmm. 
That was great. Oh, it's good. So <laughs> great. Thank you so much. My really that. Oh yeah. All right, bud. This is one of the things that you did for uh, the C O N E award. How how was it? Okay. Yeah. What did you do? You played. I played the songs for my family. Yeah, for the palliative care unit. Yeah, great. So that's it, Robbie. This is your last uh, badge in the Cub program. Yep. You've done them all, and uh, I'm really sad to say goodbye to the Cub program. I've always Hi. seen myself as a as a Cub leader, and I like the the age that the kids are at. I like you at your age, and now next year you're in Scouts. Is that me? Is it because uh, you were a Cub? Is that why? Yeah, I guess because I was a, a Cub and I never went on to Scouts. Oh. But it's also like the kids that are at that specific age are really impressionable. Mm -hmm. And, um, you know, when you're in a Scout, it's a whole other level, but there's kind of an innocence that's lost. And, uh, you know, when the kids are in Scouts, uh, there's all kinds of other things you're competing against. And uh, so, yeah, it's it's a different thing. The kids are, are older. Yeah. Are you looking forward to going to Scouts? Kind of, because my friends are in it. <laughs> yeah, I mean, there's All that to friends. look forward to. Uh, there's bigger adventures. There's better stuff. Yeah. Uh, there's also the, uh, the Duke of Edinburgh Award. Oh, yeah, and that too. Yeah. That's it for Cubs for this week and uh, forever, because I'm going into Scouts now. Yeah, that's a sad thing. I mean, yeah. All right, do your best. All right.